The new code, which uh, almost going to be published soon, we saw the, the version, the last version of it in November 2017. It's uh, quite impressive, the effort that was done uh, worth the waiting for it. I can speak only about the fire stop area. They didn't leave a corner without making it uh, protected. So any penetration you have, there is a standards for it. Uh, they took a mix and match of all the standards uh, related to fire stop uh, around the world. They are focusing on the ASTM standards and they are focusing on the UL standard. And they are focusing, as I told you, for the NFPAs, which they have a lot of uh, like the external cladding, which was the reason of several fires. Now they are focusing on having every cladding applied to be fire rated. They have also for tents, for billboard, for signboards, they have for kiosk. If you have an event, everything has to be fire rated. So previously you had only prestigious jobs like hotels, hospital, airport. You have to have a fire rated uh, area. But currently it's everywhere. I hope that it's implemented and people stick to it. Whatever the code is written, it's a must. People think that it's an option. No, if you have a code, then you have to follow whatever is written in it. Well, yeah, uh, not from the authorities, not from the suppliers, not from the applicators, but some people still believe that what is fire stop? I should not use a fire stop. I should not need a fire, anything related to fire except sprinklers, which is not true. The problem of our products is that you apply anything that like a sealant and you don't see it perform unless the fire happened, which people say, oh, I'm paying money in a product and I don't see it's, it's working. Like for example, when you pay for a carpet, you see it. You pay for waterproofing, you are sure whenever there is a water, there is no leakage. But whenever there is a fire, you will not be there till, you, till it happens. So you are sure that it doesn't spread through the building and you have it uh, zoned or controlled in one area. This is where our product works. We, we all sometimes say that it's a sleeping policeman. Whenever it happens, it goes. Civil defense inspectors are doing an excellent job. They are checking on each project. Whenever you hand over the project, they ask for a completion certificate that has to come from all suppliers of fire related to civil defense, whether it's firefighting, doors, uh, cladding. So we as a supplier, we give a, a certificate to civil defense that we supplied the approved product from civil defense. And then the inspector should see these documents when they apply. And then he makes sure that's applied on site. Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes you know that uh, odds happen. You can find that people are giving certificates without applying the material. But currently we, se we face several projects from other people that inspector spotted it out. Their areas are not applied to according to the civil defense code. So they should keep on focusing on what they are doing. They are doing the job properly. If they continue in the same way, I believe that uh, there will not be a challenge. People will get used to it. You know, everything, when it's new, people reject it. And by time they will get used to it and they will continue with the flow, which is safer for them.